where they tell the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. So please be seated. <coughs> Once you are seated, if I can get you to scoot that chair all the way up as far as it will go. Can you please state your full name and spell your full name? Anthony Borges, A-N-T-O-H-O-N-Y. B O R G E S. Mr. Kilroy, you may inquire. Thank you, Judge. Anthony, how old are you? 20 now. Where did you go to high school? My years, Tom and Douglas. Back on February 14th of 2018, how old were you? 15 years old. On that day, when you were 15 years old, were you shot? Repeat that. Were you shot? Were you shot with a gun? Five times. Five times. Where were you shot? On my left leg, that was my first shot, and then two more on my lower. Can you just speak up a little bit, Anthony? I'm sorry. Yeah. I got two, three shots on one left leg, and then two more on my body. Your Honor, can I ask the witness to uh, step down to show his wounds? Sure, you may. Right. Anthony, if you could please show for the jury uh, the injuries to your legs. And Anthony, could you please show the injuries to your torso? Now, going back to the beginning part of February 14th, 2018, was it a normal day? Yeah, the it was, you, yeah, it was a straight normal day. Was it Valentine's Day? Yes. Correct. Did you have plans for Valentine's Day after school? I had a plan with my ex-girlfriend, Nicole. I with had your ex-girlfriend, but girlfriend at the time. I had a teddy bear and everything. I had a plan to see her after school. Okay. So you had, the teddy bear was a gift for her? Yes. Okay. Now, where were you during fourth period? Study hall. Study hall. What building were you in? 12. The 12 building, the 1200 building. What floor were you on? Third floor. Third floor. Do you recall um, what class you were in? Was the number? Yes. The class? Number, no, I don't remember that. Okay. It was study hall, though. Yeah, it was study hall. Okay. Now, during study hall, were you allowed to wear um, headphones? Yeah, pretty much you can do anything, homework, music, whatever you want. Okay. That day, were you wearing headphones? Yes, correct. Now, at some point in time, during the fourth period, did the fire alarm go off? Yes. Okay. Before the fire alarm went off, did you hear any sort of unusual noises that you didn't typically hear on a normal school day? There was a weird, like, a whistle sound, but I didn't pay attention that much, but it was, like, kind of weird. Like a whistle sound? Yeah. Okay. Did you have any idea what that sound was? No. Okay. Now, after the fire alarm went off, did you leave the classroom that you were in to, yes. to go to the hallway? Yeah, everybody went outside in the hallway. Your Honor, may I press the witness? You may. Anthony, oh, it's actually not working. Mr. Kramer, just pause one second. Sure. You want to snap up? Yeah, let me just get yourself in there and do it real quick. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, sir. You're on a man. You may. Anthony, I'm sure you have been Mark, um, for identification as States K. Do you recognize this? Yes, yeah, that's me. Do you, can you speak up a little bit louder? Yes, that's me. You see yourself in this picture? Yes. Okay, what are you wearing? A uh, Nike hoodie with a Adidas black pants, and it was a Nike white shoes. Okay, you guys speak up a little bit louder. What, were you, what kind of shoes? Nike shoes. Okay. Your Honor, at this time the state would request to move in state what's already been previously marked as states K and as states 11. Any objection? No objection. Without objection, states K for identification will now be in evidence that is state exhibit 11. Your Honor, may I publish? And this can go on the screen. Understood. You may. Thank you, Your 
Is that you, Anthony? Yes, correct. Okay. The black thing kind of around your neck, what is that? That's the cup of the hood. Okay. And you have in your ears, what are, what are in your ears there? Uh, that's a headphone. Okay. Now, you see the other students kind of towards the top of the picture. Yes. This happened after the fire alarm went off. Correct, yes. Now, during a typical fire alarm drill, a normal one, what do you do as a student? Normally, everybody goes outside with this teacher. The teacher, like, tell you where to go, where to go out, and then we wait outside in the parking lot. Okay, is that what happened this day? No. Okay, what happened when you went out to the hallway on this, at this time? When the alarm went on, everybody went outside, normal thing. But then it went off, so everybody looked weird, confused, like they didn't know what happened, and then it went on again. Okay. So when it was on, when the fire alarm was still going on, um, did you hear any other loud noises at this point in time? No. Okay. At some point in time, did you hear other loud noises? Yes. What were they? What do you mean? Were they gunshots? Did yeah, you hear there them? were loud okay. gunshots. Super loud. Explain to the jury what happened um, while you were in the hallway, when you heard those gunshots. So when I was in the hallway, I was, I was like ready to go down on the wet side to go into the downs, uh, downstairs. That's when I saw like kind of the gun, like half open the door and then I just closed the door and then turn around back and start running. So when you were shot, you were running away? Yes. Okay. Do you remember whether you were shot in the legs, lower body, or the upper body first? I just felt the first shot on my left leg. Your left leg? Other than that, no. Okay. When you were shot in your left leg, did you collapse to the floor? Yes. Anthony, I'm showing you what's already been previously marked as states L for identification. Do you recognize this? Yes. Okay, so is this a true and accurate depiction of what happened um, that afternoon on the third floor in the hallway mm -hmm. after you were shot? Yes, correct. Your Honor, at this time, the state would request to move in what's already been previously marked for identification states L in as states 12. Any objection? No objection. Without objection, states L for identification will now be in evidence that it states exhibit 12. Um, may I publish, Your Honor? We'll get the TVs off. Mm -hmm. Court Deputy Unit, the TVs are off. Yeah, we need them all off. Do you recognize um, the middle of the picture? Yes. What, who is that? What is that? That's me. That's you on the, is that you on the floor? Yes. Do you see the uh, police officers there? Yes. Okay. And at what time, in the top left-hand corner, what time uh, was this screen capture taken? Is, do, you see, is it, do you see where it says uh, 3.02.57? Yeah, 2.57. What that picture showed is that where you um, were on the floor for approximately 40 minutes after you were shot? Yes, correct. Now, when you were on the floor after you were shot, did you try to get up? I tried, yeah, I tried to get up. And were you well, able to? Yeah, could. Can you describe for me, um, did you see any of your blood? There was a lot of blood around me. What, did you feel pain? Nothing, no, not at all. Okay. 
were you, were you in shock? Not really. Okay. What did you see besides your own blood? Were you able to look around? Yeah, I, I was able to look around. I was looking like a few victims. You saw bodies. a few other victims who were on the ground? Yes. Right after you were shot, did you see the shooter? I saw him when he shot me, but kind of like when I went to the floor and looked like fast. Okay. He was holding with, with the one hand. Did you, when you were on the floor, did he ever shoot you again? No. Okay. So the five shots were all one barrage. I guess. One slur. Yeah. Okay. At any point in time, do you remember losing consciousness? No, not at all. Um, what else did you do while you were on the floor? Did you have your phone with you that day? Yes, I did. Did you make any phone calls while you were on the floor? I called my mom first. She didn't answer. I called my best friend. He didn't answer it. And then I called my dad. That's when he answered. Your dad answered the phone? Yes. Did you speak to your father? Yes. Why did you call your dad? My final saying goodbye to him. Were you, did you think that you were going to die? Yes. Did you have any other, what else were you thinking while you were on the floor? On the third when floor? I throw the phone away and everything, I was thinking about like, where's the, where's the help? Where's the cops? Like, well, how long are they going to take this for taking me out, you know? In terms of your thought process, where are the cops, where's the help? Did you keep thinking that over the course of the 40 some odd minutes you were on the floor, or did you eventually um, stop thinking about that? I eventually got sick of death, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to just chill over here. Can you just say that louder? I'm sorry. I just I sick the, the dead. You I just, accepted that you were yeah, going to die? Yeah. Now, ultimately, um, Police did come to the third floor. Do you remember that? Hmm? What, ultimately, eventually, police officers arrive on the third floor. Yeah, after 40, 45 minutes. Say that louder. You got to say Yeah, that after louder. 40, 45 minutes, uh, there were the cops came. Okay. And do you remember what those police officers did? Uh, the the, the, the attorney came on my, my legs, my body, they check everything. I was right. They, told, oh, they asked me for my name, where I'm from, how old I am, everything. Okay, so you said that the tourniquet was put on your legs? Yes. Okay, um, were you in the hallway when the tourniquets were applied, or were you somewhere else? I was in the hallway, still. Were you, were you at ultimately, or were you ever dragged from the hallway into like the stair, the landing? Yes. Okay. Um, eventually, were you brought down the third stories and brought to an ambulance? Yes. Did you know who the school resource officer was at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas um, back on that day? No, I did not. Had you ever seen a uniformed officer with a gun on campus before? Yes, yes. When you were thinking on the third floor before the officers arrived, were you thinking specifically about that officer? You got to say Yes, that? yes, I did. And what were you thinking? I was thinking, like, there's no way, like, this could have happened to me or anyone, you know? If I'm an officer, I have a gun, I will automatically just go inside and, like, save anyone. Now, in terms of your injuries, we obviously saw them, but approximately how many surgeries have you had? 14, 13 surgeries. 13 or 14 surgeries? Yes. Okay. Now, Previous to February 14th, 2018, did you play any sports? Yeah, I did play soccer. That was my whole career. So that was what your, your, your dream was to play soccer? Yeah, I was literally there to be professional. I was going to Brazil and play. So let's slow down there, just because you just spoke kind of fast there. Yeah. You went to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas to play soccer? Yes. Okay. And your hope was to go to Brazil to play at some professional level? Yes. These injuries, did they prevent that from ever occurring? Mm -hmm. For sure, yes. Now these injuries, do you still, um, 
Do they still hurt at times? They do, they do still hurt sometimes. Not too bad like before. Which, the legs or the upper body? My legs, pretty much. Which leg? My left leg. Your left leg still bothers you? Yes. Is that the one that you've had the most surgeries on? Yes. Okay. And as part of your injuries, did you have to wear like a colostomy bag? I did, yeah. Now, going back to when you were on the floor, you stated earlier that you could see other victims. Yes. Do you recall how many you could see? About two bodies. Do you recall what, what they were wearing? There was a girl in front of me wearing a pink shirt, and there was a guy wearing a, like a military, one of those RTC. Okay. Things. So was the um, was the person wearing the pink shirt? Were they closer to you where you were? Yeah. And the course. person wearing the military ROTC farther away? Farther away. Yeah. Did you see them moving at all? No, no. Did you think that they were um, deceased? Well, I tried to talk to them, but and no response, okay. nothing. You tried to talk to them. At any point in time after you were shot, did you yell for help? I did, yeah. What did you yell? Help, help. Did in you? In Spanish too, are you there? In Spanish and in English? Yes. Okay. For how long did you yell help? About three, four minutes. Okay. Why did you stop after four minutes? That, that's when I realized that nobody going to come and say help you. Were you the only person in the hallway at that point in time who... Alive, yeah. Alive, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were shot, did you hear the gunshots? No, the yeah, super loud. You got you to speak up, Anthony. Yeah, they were super loud. They were super loud. Yes. <clears throat> after, after you were shot, after you were on the floor, did you continue to hear shots? No, I couldn't hear after like, okay. a few loud bangs and shit. Are you familiar with what previous, oh, I'm sorry, previous to February 14th of 2018, were you familiar with the sounds of um, guns? Well, I used to live in Venezuela, so it, that was a normal thing to hear over there. So in Venezuela, it was normal yeah, to hear yeah. gunshots? Yes. So did you instantly or immediately know that that was a gunshot? Yeah. Okay. Did it sound like a firecracker to you? No. no. Have you heard firecrackers before? <laughs> yeah. Was this louder? Super loud. Now, going back to the injuries just very briefly, the pain in your left leg and the other things, are these um, injuries after consulting with medical professionals that you're going to be dealing with the rest of your life? Pretty much, yeah. Good afternoon, Anthony. Good afternoon. It's nice to see you again. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances. I'll be as quickly as possible. Okay? All right. I think I heard you say that you were in the 1200 building, correct? Correct. And that was on the third floor that you were on, correct? Correct. And if I remember from our discussion, you heard a teacher talking about final exams, right? Correct. And that's when the fire alarm went off, correct? correct? 
and the teacher told everyone to go outside of the classroom for the drill, right? You guys thought it was a drill. Yes, a drill. for sure. You didn't think it was real, correct? And before you go outside of your classroom for what you thought was a drill, you never heard what sounded like any gunfire to you, correct? Correct. And because as you told the prosecutor, you know what gunfire sounds like. Yes. And I think you described it as like a whistle sound. It was like an echo from like the second floor, I think, I guess. Like an echo of some sort, like right? Or like first, yeah. Okay. And would this be accurate that you said that it, it's like you grab a stick and you shake it from side to side? Yes, correct. Does that sound right? Those are your words, not mine. Yes, is that, yes, is that right? correct. Okay. But definitely not gunfire, correct? No. So none of the shots on the first or second floor did you hear I as gunfire, hear, yeah. correct? In fact, as you go into the hallway of the third floor, you're very calm, right? I'm sorry, I have to maybe yes, say yes, yes or no yes. the court reporter yes. can write down and not. Okay. And the other kids that were with you were flooding the hallway there on the third floor, and they're very calm too, correct? Yes. It didn't look like they had heard any shots either, correct? Yes. Everyone seemed to be normal, right? Yes. No one was running until the shooter gets to the third floor and begins to fire, isn't that correct? Yes. And I think you just said that after you were shot, you never heard any additional gunfire, correct? Correct. So that means that you never then heard the two minutes of gunfire out of the teacher's lounge that was on the same floor, correct? I have an objection on it. So Testify. Yeah, that's sustained. So you definitely never heard any additional gunfire after you were shot, correct? I mean, how could I hear if the, the, the sound was too loud and my ear was just... I understand that. Uh, oh, I think I was bleeding by my ears. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't blame you in any way. I'm just saying whether you heard it or not. No? All right. In fact, one final question. Of all the shots that were fired in that building, first floor and second and third floor, you only heard four shots, isn't that correct? Correct. Again, I'm sorry this happened to you. I wish you the very best. All right, State, let me redirect just one question. Go ahead. Anthony, you, you stated you heard only four shots. You were shot five times. Five right? times, yeah. That was, that was probably like my ear went like off or anything. One more question, two more questions. Was the sound of the shots, were the sound of the shots so loud that it caused your ears to basically deafen. Yes. I got it right. Based on that, any recross? No, no. State, is the witness excused? Yes. All right, sir, you may step down. Thank you very much. State, do you want a uh, restroom break?